School choice, health care, and fentanyl are expected to be among the first topics debated at the South Carolina State House this year. And senators are fast tracking some of that legislation to get it passed as soon as they can. State House reporter Mary Green has the details from Columbia. The legislature has only been back in session here at the State House for a week, but senators already have their first debate of the year underway, with another waiting for them once that first wraps up. It's been a great deal of time. Uh, debating education scholarship accounts last session. And that's uh, now the first bill up Senate. this session to establish a school voucher program in South Carolina. It would give families up to $6,000 a year from state funding to send their kids to private school and just fell short of becoming law last year. Those students would have to be eligible for Medicaid or have an IEP to qualify and then their siblings would as well. What real option are we giving them? Are we going to let Johnny and Bamberg drive to Richland County. Give me a break. That's a, the chances of that are rare. In, in your rural areas, the private schools are struggling. I know that there will be students that if this program is in place, they will benefit from it. It will be the it will be the, the option and it's given that that family some options that don't, otherwise don't have options. The voucher bill debate started in the Senate on Tuesday and will continue Wednesday. Once that's done, the next bill on the docket for debate in the Senate would repeal South Carolina's certificate of need law. Under that, hospitals and clinics have to get approval from the state to build or expand. The state's hospital association has said this law should be amended, but not totally thrown out. But supporters of the repeal say keeping this law in place keeps health care out of many counties. Right now, I think we have to do something radically different to ensure more opportunities for health care access in rural South Carolina. The Senate also plans to get to work soon on criminal justice legislation, including bills to toughen up South Carolina's catch and release bail practices and fentanyl laws. I tried this over the last couple of years. We've got to push this across the finish line this year. Too many people are dying and they're, they're dying from things that they didn't even know was hitting them. Committees in both the Senate and the House of Representatives will hold hearings here in Columbia on Thursday to take public testimony for the first time this year on those fentanyl-related bills. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green.